What's up guys, I'm Rich from Spray Black Studios and today I'm going to apply for the most exclusive Warhammer 40,000 tournament in the world. So guys, when you think of Gibraltar, what comes to your mind? The rock, massive fortifications, or tiny little monkeys? Well, for me, I think of Warhammer. Now this might sound strange for a country that's got a population smaller than my hometown, but Gibraltar is host to probably the most exclusive Warhammer tournament in the world. The No Retreat series of tournaments hosted by the absolutely awesome guys over at SM Battle Reports draws in people from all over the world with some of the most stunningly beautiful armies that you will see in tournament play. The reason this tournament is so exclusive is because it's done by invitation only. I believe that last year close to 200 people applied to take part in this tournament and only 26 of those were lucky enough to be offered a chance to join in. Now if you're like me and you watch a lot of YouTube battle reports, you may already know about this tournament. Guys like Lawrence Baker from Tabletop Tactics, Winters SEO and lads from Hellstorm have previously attended and Lawrence himself has had a pretty good record at this tournament. It's not just the hobby celebrities that get sent invitations though. As I've mentioned earlier, there are people traveling from all over the world to take part in this tournament and they bring some pretty stunning armies with them. Now for quite some time, this tournament's actually been on my hobby bucket list. Watching Lawrence Baker win it back to back, seeing Winters' vlogs from the tournament showing the absolutely beautiful terrain and the venue, really got me thinking that actually this tournament is probably right in my wheelhouse. I will say that whilst I have done tournaments in the past, I am far from being your winner all costs competitive style player and quite often I'll quite happily sit on those mid tables as I'm the sort of person that doesn't let efficiency get in the way of what I think looks cool or what has a fun theme behind it. So because of this, tournaments like this and the fun and fluff tournaments held by the London Wargaming Guild are Right up my alley, they're the sort of things that reward a well-painted army, a well-themed army. And for me, that's the side of hobby that I want to be in. My issue previously was that I was never really confident enough in my painting ability to enter. I never really felt like my armies were up to scratch and whilst I was happy with how they were painted, they were just not quite there. I have however spent the last couple of years really working on my painting ability and I have noticed a fairly substantial jump up in the quality of what I'm doing. So now I think I'm probably close enough to give it a shot. As you may have seen from watching my recent videos, I got challenged to produce some Alpha Legion Primaris units. Well, after talking to a few people and deciding to really steer into the skid on this, I've built up the project and started to build it towards a full army strength. The only problem with this however is that the deadline for applications is on the 30th of November this year and if I miss that then I'm going to be looking at another year's wait until I can apply again. So I'm going to need to work hard to at least get the core of this army together just to give the guys an idea of my painting ability and of how the army is actually going to look. So before I started any actual building or painting, being the absolute spreadsheet nerd that I am, I created a plan. When I've previously completed commission work, I found that actually really helps to write down the stages that you're gonna go through, whether you're batch painting or whether you're doing individual units. Having a plan in place can really help you keep focused and help your motivation as you're slowly ticking down all of those models. So I planned out every stage of the painting process for this project, prioritising certain units just in case I didn't get them done in time. Spoiler alert, I didn't get it all finished. The first step was getting everything built. I focused mainly on infantry units that would fit the theme of Alpha Legion, so the sneaky ones like infiltrators, incursors, eliminators. I also added a few interesting pieces such as the captain, 
the repulsor and a Xiphon interceptor which should hopefully be nice and eye-catching. For the base coating of these models, I made the decision to use an airbrush to apply the contrast Achalian green that gives these Alpha Legion that awesome metallic blue tone. Contrast paints go through an airbrush really well. Using the airbrush you can avoid that patchiness that often appears when using contrast paints on large flat surfaces. And more important for me, for this project, it will save you a lot of time. With plans in place for painting up the metallics and the materials, I could also then just crack on with painting on a unit by unit basis without having to trial things and correct too many mistakes. I will say that generally I do tend to do my best work when I've got a target or a deadline in sight, but this was definitely a tough one to paint up this army within the time frame, but still keep into the standard that I need for this application. Trying to maintain that standard whilst painting at speed was difficult and especially so considering that at the same time I'm doing a full-time job and trying to keep the girlfriend happy. I often found myself painting whilst tired and this generally does not go hand in hand with quality paint jobs. So with the addition of copious amounts of sugar, tea and monster energy drinks, I cracked on with a few late nights and managed to get the core of the project done. So now fast forward on to a couple of days before the deadline and yes, as mentioned, I did fail to complete the full project as planned, but I have managed to build up a decent core of the army and what I think should be enough to give the guys over at SM Battle Reports a good idea of my painting standards and of how the army itself is going to look. Rather than painting all the way up to that deadline, I've made sure that I've taken a couple of days to get some good quality photos of my minis and actually to spend a bit of time on the application itself as it's not just going to be about on what I've got painted but I really need to show these models in the best light and to show myself in the best light for the actual application. A huge part of the application itself though is in those minis as the guys that are going to be judging them are over a thousand miles away from me I'm going to be very much reliant on the quality of these photos to really portray my paint job and how these minis are going to look on their absolutely beautiful tables. So to ensure that I get some quality photos of my minis, I've set up a light box with a white background, a couple of LED lights, and I'll be using my Nikon DSLR with a macro lens. The light box will ensure that I have a nice, clear, distraction-free background, and those LED lights will provide a nice even lighting with no dodgy shadows, or hopefully, no really bright highlights. And now with the photos complete and a short passage written about myself, my application is ready to send. So guys, if you're not already aware of them, I strongly urge you to go over and check out the SM Battle Reports team. They put out some absolutely great content both on their website and on YouTube. And as you can see, they put on a hell of a tournament. Whilst I'll say that I don't really want the extra competition for places, I do strongly advise you have a look at this tournament, have a look at the application process because it really is a bucket list tournament for a lot of people and it's going to be unlike any tournament that you will have competed in before. Now if you're watching this video on the day of release, you have two days until the deadline itself. So get yourself over to SM Battle Reports and get that application filled out. I would like to say a massive thank you to the SM Battle Reports team, not just for producing the content that kept me sane during most of this painting process, but also for letting me use many of their photos and their footage in the production of this video. So thanks for watching this video guys, if you enjoyed it then please let me know down in the comments down below, and I'm going to ask you to keep your fingers crossed for me. This is a super difficult tournament to actually gain entry to, and it is one that has been on my bucket list for quite some time. If all things go well, at the end of September, start of October next year, I'll be flying to Gibraltar. And if you are also lucky enough to gain entry into this fairly spectacular tournament, then please feel free to come say hello. And remember guys, even when desperately trying to paint an army ready for a tournament, if all else fails, spray it black and start it again. <laughs>